let's bring the next person up on stage, which is Fireside Moon 47. I've spoken to them before, so let's see what they have to say now. Hey, Fireside. Hello. Thanks for having me back. How's mm, it going? Likewise. I'm good. And you? Yeah, I'm not too bad, actually. How's, how's your day been so far? Been great. Been, uh, I ate some oatmeal, been playing some music and writing oh, yeah. a little bit. That's about it. I had a look at your YouTube channel. I so saw you playing the, um, I forgot what that big half like drum metal thing is. Yeah, the hand I pan. That thing's yes. cool. Yeah, that thing's cool. I've yeah, seen it before. You. Yeah, thank you. Yeah, it's I love amazing. it. Dude. That's sick. Yeah, it's very cool. Yeah. Um, <clears throat> yeah, so your topic today is animals don't want to die. So how can you justify not being vegan? Mm -hmm. So my question is, is, uh, so no animal wants to die, right? Mm -hmm. That's correct. And that like, and that includes humans. Animals, um, humans are animals. So yes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So like when, when we talk about, uh, humans and like the, like the primitive instincts, and that's to like eat right of course and like that's sure not necessarily like meat but part of that is meat where like humans originally down at like the dawn of time they would eat meat to survive and that's like where we gained a lot of our vitamins and that's uh argued through um historical evidence that that's how we evolved or that that's um some of the vitamins that uh we got with through meat eating so i would argue that like okay sorry this is really terribly worded basically what i'm trying to say is like is it not down to our human like evolutionary uh traits that we eat meat to evolve i'm not sure if i've seen sufficient evidence to be able to believe that uh i believe that uh, from how i see it now which is not grounded in science perhaps uh, this is not something i have defined like super strict for myself that i can point you to the exact sources of which uh, right. why I'm telling you what I'm going to be telling you now, which is the fact that I do not believe humans did eat that much meat throughout history. Like how could we? Uh, taking down a animal is very intensive. It requires lots mm -hmm. of energy. And um, whenever you did take down an animal, you can only eat so much of it because you did not have preservative well, course, methods yeah. and uh, refrigeration. Uh, I believe our historical uh, nutritional um, intake was primarily plant-based through nuts, seeds, uh, fruits, uh, tubers, legumes, all those kinds of things that grow naturally in the wild. What about like what about something like B12, right? Where it's only really able to be gained through consumption of meat or animal products, because we wouldn't be able to gain that from plants. I mean, we don't find that naturally. Uh, in plants, do we? Um, actually, the reason that we don't have uh, the kind of same access to B12 now is because our water supply is chlorinated and filtered and all of this kind of stuff. In the past, um, water was more uh, naturally rich with B12. Uh, the soil was more naturally rich with B12 as well. Uh, but since we now live in modernized uh, society with uh, water supply that comes from a central facility that has filtered the water, cl uh, cleaned it and killed the B12 because B12 is bacteria, which is killed in this uh, process mm -hmm. of filtration. So um, actually, the reason that uh, animals get B12 is because uh, they eat from the ground and the ground contains B12. And this B12 also leaches out into wild water streams and... Uh, right, but how much how much concentration would that have been though? Because I don't imagine enough. it would have been a whole lot. Enough. Enough, like, but... Uh, mm. I, I do believe the majority of our B12 uh, intake throughout history was gotten through the... Like purely through the consumption of water. Right, like this is kind of where I'd argue that, that we, we sort of see this historical idea that as soon as man created fire, we evolved so fast and so quickly. And I would like, in my belief, I think this is attributed to like all the meat that we started being able to cook and eat. Because when we cook meat, it extracts more B12 from the, from the flesh or from the, from the meat, right? So mm -hmm. like historically, like if we look at it, I feel like from a historical standpoint, I would kind of attribute more of this like B12 enrichment directly to uh cooking eating meat i think that's a very interesting take uh fireside i would not necessarily know because i do not have the knowledge at the moment i would have to do right. some more research on that
but um, I have mm-hmm. also heard from several other people that uh, when we discovered fire, we were able to cook complex carbohydrates um, like a sweet okay. potato and uh, other kinds of stuff. I'm not too well versed on that kind of knowledge though so i would need to uh, actually like look it up more i do see we actually yeah, have yeah. some uh, resources here coming up in the stage one text um animal flesh uh, eggs male chicks on youtube is writing <coughs> animal flesh is an awful source of b12 linking a study yeah and the so what's a better source of b12 um as i said like the water uh, at least historically, I know that's to be true. Um, mm-hmm. There's another comment here I just want to read before we go on. Uh, Fireside, not true. Uh, as far as we know, as far as we know, fire was discovered by Homo erectus. They evolved 1.2 million years ago at the latest. And what's more, were not our ancestors. Well, if they're not our ancestors, doesn't that kind of prove a point where us as uh, Homo sapiens since we were the better, uh, we were the better evolution. Not Would that not kind of prove that no. when we discovered fire? Not necessarily. Mm, okay. So I guess that's kind of like a point that we'd have to study and yes, like look into study. more. Uh, yeah, of course, so, I'd be interested. In. So uh, before I let you go, uh, Fireside, because I'm I'm probably like very <laughs> sure that we're gonna have several conversations. Yeah. In the future. Yeah. Would you like to take a couple of minutes here to try to define your position and my position so that we can do some research? Yeah, sure. So yeah, what, sure. what I gathered from you is that you said that um, human evolution was rapidly increased from the consumption of uh, meat that was cooked uh, by the invention of fire. Yeah, not necessarily by the invention of fire, but I do believe that historically, like, when, like at least from my perception historically, when we look at it, um, there's definitely this, like, perception that when we discovered fire, we were suddenly cooking meat, and I believe that we were gaining more uh, nutrients through this way. I guess, yeah, that would be my point. At least that's my hypothesis. It's kind of something that I'm bringing in here. Yes, um, and that's very interesting. I would want to do more research on that and find out. Yeah, and uh, the second point uh, we discussed is where does B12 come from? Uh, historically, was it through meat or was it through uh, water consumption? Is uh, I believe water. Yeah, of course, that would be interesting. That would yeah. be a um, good thing to research. Actually, uh, yeah, of course. All right, our, well, thank you for having me on. Uh, Fireside, thank you so much. Likewise, uh, our conversation yeah, no has worries. been recorded. If you would want to oh, check, good, yeah. check out the conversation later on my YouTube channel, I will link it to you. Okay. Yeah, no worries. Yeah, I, I, I do. Yeah, I've seen your YouTube channel. I can help yeah. it later if I need to. Yeah, no worries, man. Have a good day. You too. Take care. I appreciate the conversation, Fireside. Bye.